What is going on our YouTube viewers? I just wanted to give you all an update of Pika here in her temporary enclosure. She only has one week left in here and then she gets to go back with her buddies over there that are waiting to see her again. But she has done absolutely fantastic in this enclosure. She's dug up the ground quite a bit. There isn't so much hay in here. But that is all okay, huh, because. But yeah, everybody, she's done absolutely fantastic in here. She's been in here, uh, gosh, um, a month and a half now. Month and a half breeding season is over, but I just wanted to make sure I give her one more week before I officially move her in there, just in case. Um, I have no clue if the other two over in there are pregnant or what's going on with them. I'll know more when it gets closer to spring. But I do know for sure that I am not going to have to worry about my old baby girl right here having any babies. Right? Yep. Yeah, she's done very, <laughs> she's done very, very good in here. I am actually very surprised. Well, not really surprised. I knew she would do good. I was more worried about the other ones. I was thinking that they would go a little cuckoo crazy without her. But they've done all fantastic. Ain't that right, Pika's? I bet you she cannot wait to go back in there with her friends and play all over again. I don't have to worry about this cage. I can get this cage cleaned up. I can use it as a play area for the cavies. Which I'm going to be doing a video on the cavies here in a little bit. And doing an update on them so you guys can see how big they've gotten. They've gotten so big um, from the last time or the first video that I posted of them. So I can use this enclosure, get it cleaned up as a little play area for them. I do actually take them outside and I walk them around on a leash. They've been doing so good leash training. So yeah, I put a little harness on them and I walk them each by themselves for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll bring them both out together but they grow out here and they graze on the grass but I'll definitely be showing you guys that in the next video okay okay Pika's I'll pet you I'll pet you come on she's like you stop petting me hmm yeah look at her today's actually a little chilly I got my jean jacket on it's a little chilly here in Florida today but that, of course, does not bother these guys right here. They got this beautiful fur coat. Beautiful fur coat. She's going to lay back down. Beautiful fur coat that keeps them all nice and warm. When it actually gets a little bit past springtime, it gets a little bit more summer, they'll start shedding all of this undercoat that's under here that keeps them all nice and warm. And then they're going to kind of look a little poopy-ish. Look at her. They're going to look kind of poopy-ish <laughs> because all that nice thick fur is going to get really thin and they'll look, they'll just look different, completely different. But they still look beautiful. Right, Pika, huh? You'll still look beautiful. <laughs> I cannot wait to see if any of these guys over here possibly have any babies in the spring, like I said. I am very curious if they do have any kits, if they're going to come out like a tricolor because Mr. Fox, as you can see over there, he's a red fox and those two are marble foxes. Okay, are marble foxes. So I'm just wondering what colors the babies will come out as. Now if you guys want to comment below on what colors do you think those babies possibly will be even if we don't have any, any like have any this year maybe possibly we'll have some next year I don't know and another thing too if you guys have any questions comments anything like that go ahead drop it down below I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have as long as they are nice and respectable questions I don't need no negative comments or anything like that on our YouTube channel. That is not what our YouTube channel is about. You know, saying anything negative. 
If you have anything to say at all to help us improve our channel or things you would like us to see differently, please put it in a comment, um, message us and just be nice about it and be like, hey, we have some of our own opinions. Could you try maybe doing this? Don't be so negative, I should say. But definitely drop some comments. I'll be happy to answer any comments. That right, Kika? Look at this beautiful girl. <laughs> She's so precious. I gotta go get them their afternoon snacks here in a little bit. But look at her. Oh, her color is just so beautiful. She's so sweet. Look at you. You're so cute. Look at that face. <laughs> She's our good girl. I know some of you are probably annoyed with me just showing my animals and stuff like that. But I'd rather you guys focus and pay more attention to them than me. Because this right here is so much prettier than me. Huh. Yes, you are. You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, she just loves this. I really do wish I would have got those other foxes, the other three foxes over there, at such a young age like we did Pika. Just so they would have had a lot more handling in their younger age just to be like this beautiful girl right here. But that's okay. I'm just glad that they have good homes. Well guys, this is just a little short video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on Pika here in her temporary enclosure. She goes back in there in one more week. And I'll do another video on that to see how she interacts with everybody over there. Maybe they'll get to playing. They've missed her. I don't know. We'll see. But if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop us some comments. Let us know if there's anything that we can do differently. Things that you would like to see. Or any questions that you want to ask that we can answer for you. Um, if you have friends and family, please have them join and become part of the Matson Outdoors family as well. Ooh, beautiful girl. But until next time, guys. Bye.